A beer festival is a bright and refreshing addition to the heat of a long summer. Barring its bitter taste, beer is one of the best ways to cool down and revel with friends. And as if that doesn't already make it appealing enough, according to the beer master at the first Beijing Beer Geeks Festival, the taste and even the color of the beer can be easily modified to your liking. Well, that's because the beer at the festival is home brewed. Home brewing is a practice which originated in Europe and North America in the early 1980s. Now, although this bandwagon has dominated the beer market in Western countries, it has just begun to take off in China in recent years. In the past, the concept of home brew did not exist. I remember clearly at the period from the end of 2010 to the beginning of 2011, I wanted to brew beer at home. However, I failed to find out the relevant information and raw materials about beer at the Internet, even in Alibaba and Taobao. I wanted to buy some special malt, but I could not find it at all. Also, I could not buy a beer barrel. Later, I knew that at the middle of 2011, a man called Gao Yan, who had stayed in America for many years, returned to China. He's written a book named Get Your Own Brew, which focuses on teaching people how to brew beer at home. In 2012, Chinese started to make beer by themselves gradually. As an influential beer-drinking country, China boasts an extremely large group of consumers, but in the beer maker market, some public brands represent 80 to 90 percent of the market. In other words, home brews can only be developed in a very small market. The Chinese government has also not developed scrupulous rules with regards to home brews. The biggest barrier to expansion of home brews in China is the public's very traditional and rooted ideas about beer. Home brewing in China is in a gray area without a lot of regulations. Some organizations have not regulated the specific rules in light of homebrew. They have only dealt with them according to the operating way of a restaurant. The best solution is to establish a beer house which provides meals and drinks. In China, the public awareness towards beer stays at the sidewalk. You'll find it at snack booths or barbecue shacks. And the habit of competition through drinking beer is unknown. Unlike the American and European countries, beer is a part of their lifestyles. For example, the country of the highest amount of beer drinking on the average is the Czech Republic. Every Czech is used to drinking 300 mugs of beer per year. But now in China, more and more people are starting to study how to brew beer at home. Although home brewing may be developing slowly in China, there are a number of beer experts like Mr. Yin. They want more people to understand that beer can have special tastes, different from the taste of Qingdao and Yanjing. In January of 2012, a group of beer enthusiasts founded the Association of Home Brewers in Beijing with Mr. Yin. The association has grown from an initial 10 members to more than 100 members at present. Seven craft beer workshops from China with 40 kinds of craft beer brought a totally fresh twist on the experience of drinking beer. I opened a small beer house in Wuhan which focused on brewing craft beer. I think the brew beer is really tasty because I think it can have a great diversity and have different tastes according to one's own preference of appetite. Yeah, I like craft beer. I've been a big fan of craft beer um, in the United States, and I certainly like craft beer in China as well. It's not quite as refined, I guess I would say, as in the United States, but uh, the, the, one of the other differences is, is that there's a tremendous amount of enthusiasm here. I mean, if you look around at the, particularly the Chinese guys that are doing this, um, they, they really are very, very enthused, even more enthused, I would say, than my friends in the United States that are into beer. Mr. Yin will open his own craft beer shop very soon, Tipsy Face. Now, there are already around 20 to 30 different kinds of beer shops in the country. Mr. Yin still has great confidence in their future promotion and development. 
In my view, beer should be part of your life. Whether in spirit or experience, it should be a way to improve your quality of life. I have lots of friends. When I introduce craft beers to them, they find it good immediately. It's because when you introduce something with the abundant taste and strong multi layers of them, their perspectives will be changed. After traditional ideas are re examined, beer will be seen less as a social drink and more as a type of art. It will make people who live in chaotic urban areas slow down and appreciate and share in the wonderful process of beer brewing and tasting.